everybody, what's up? Welcome to the video. I'm Brian Kay, and we're continuing in our series of licks that you can use to improve your guitar playing. Now, if you are new to the channel and you dig these types of videos, subscribe to the channel and tick that notification bell to be among the first to know when content is loaded up out here on YouTube. I post lessons weekly and I'm also doing live stream events, so don't miss out on all the fun. And with that said, what are we waiting for? Let's get down to the fretboard where good things happen and I will show you how you can pull that lick into your playing and start using it right away. This lick is in the key of A. And we start off here on the B string and the G string at the 7th fret, right, where we do this double stop pull off to, the, to a bar back at the 5th fret on the B and the G string, okay? So 7th fret pull off to the 5th fret, right? And then we go directly here to the 7th fret of the D string, where we go back again to this first finger bar on the G and B string at the 5th. And we give two quick upstrokes, right? Where we then do a upward rake and what you'll want to do to get this to sound really cool is you want to put your first finger barring the G well bar the B string the G string and the D string right and you want to just rake up kind of don't press too hard and get this kind of semi muted sound right where we're going directly to the seventh fret of the A string right so, so far, this is what we have. Where we finish this lick off with a hammer from the 5th fret to the 7th fret, right, of the A string. And then we go up to the D string and we do the same move, 5th fret, 7th fret, do a hammer on, right? And then go to the 5th fret of the G string and end at the seventh fret of the D string and throw a little vibrato on there sounds really good. So the whole lick really slow is this. This lick will work in rock, in blues, in funk, in country. The sky is the limit. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the links in my description. There's things there that will help you get your chops up. And of course, it goes a long way to helping me continue to bring the content out here on YouTube. And if you dig my YouTube videos, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and tick that notification bell to be on your way to playing better guitar.